Hi, this is Dr. Chu. I'm here at CDS. I'm here at the Digital Health Summit booth. This is Dana Patrick from Zyde Cell Communications. And what we're going to talk about today is the Smart Home Gateway. Uh, Dana, can you tell us a little bit about this product? Certainly. Uh, the Zycell uh, SHG2220, excuse me, 222 that we're calling it, is a smart home gateway designed for the personal telehealth space. Uh, we are actually part in, sitting in the Continua Alliance booth today, and the Continua Alliance is an organization that specifies the uh, interoperability for products in the telehealth space. The Zycell Smart Home Gateway is designed to be an aggregator in the personal telehealth space, aggregating data from multiple sensors in a personal telehealth space. So a product such as the as a uh, sensor such as uh, blood pressure cuffs, uh, scales, pedometers, uh, glucose meters, all have to send data back in a telehealth sense back to either a service provider, a uh, personal website that's collecting that type of data, various types of organizations that need that type of data in a telehealth uh, environment. Uh, the Zycel uh, Smart Home Gateway is a product that collects that data through various places, various sources such as Bluetooth, Zigbee, uh, 802.11n wireless, and it collects the it routes that product, all those uh, sensor data together to send it back. On the back end of that uh, of the aggregator is the ability to send not send the data not only over the traditional Ethernet methods, but it also has uh, ports on the on, on the product to be able to send it either through 3G or 4G connectivity. That's very important for either mobile applications or applications where it is required to have uh, uh, critical backup. So if you have sensor data that needs to back up and your normal internet connection goes down, there is a four, there is a cell phone battery inside it, a lithium-ion battery on the inside of the product that can run the bat product for four hours, and it will automatically fail over to either a 3G or 4G connectivity, depending on what you have, to provide that data on the back end. Uh, we have a sister product to this. This is a mobile product that can be either used in the home or can be used uh, in a mobile environment, such as when you're traveling or in the car if needed and that type of thing. Uh, we also have a sister product that is strictly just a home-based model as well. Uh, both of these products will be available at the end of the first quarter. Um, as I mentioned at the very beginning, we were honored uh, uh, from CES as an innovation honoree this year because of this product in the uh, medical device category. So, Dana, can I ask you some questions? Certainly. So this is almost like a communications router that will send patients' biometric data or measurements about their health from various devices to a central server where perhaps other application service providers can use that information for disease monitoring or health management. Is that yeah, correct? That is correct. Now tell me, tell me a little bit about um, security. I know it's really security is an issue, HIPAA compliance is an issue. Um, is this something that your company has thought about in designing this system? Well, certainly. The uh, Continuum Alliance has actually set up a set of standards for uh, device interoperability, device communication. So sensor data and that type of thing have to meet the requirements of the Continuum Alliance. And uh, those particular devices have to be able to, to satisfy the demands of the, of the specific specifications of the Continuum Alliance to satisfy HIPAA and security requirements. The, the Smart Home Gateway will pass through that secure data directly to uh, the, the service provider or the back end that is requiring that particular type of data. Now, Dana, are there any medical devices currently working with your smart home gateway? Well, as I say, the product is actually going to be released at the end of this quarter. We are currently in development in, in the, uh, development with several different device manufacturers for early release. We are also going to be producing a device on a project basis as well. Uh, there are many different types of devices out there with many different types of protocols, though we'll initially uh, uh, introduce the device with Zigbee, Bluetooth, and, and, I, and IEEE 802.11n uh, protocol support. There are multiple other types of protocols and supports and devices that need to be uh, satisfied as well. Ultimately, all the device support, though, we will support with the Continual Alliance uh, certified. So, Dana, if, um, if there are physicians in our audience who are interested in learning more about um, your smart home, um, how can they get more information? Well, the best way to do is send us an email at mobile at Zyce com. That's mobile as in like mobile phone. at Zycel, Z-Y-X-E-L dot com. And that's a website, excuse me, an email uh, address we've set up specifically for information on this particular product category. Dana, thank you so much. It's very interesting, and I look forward to seeing more from your company in the future. Dr. Chu, thank you. Appreciate it.